to make we need to uh, have more opportunities for disabled people because if we give them the opportunity and we give them the chance i am sure they can make a lot of difference in everyone's lives and in the west who they in england i am talking about they have they have a rule there that in their office they got to have at least one disabled person in their office so that he can uh, show to the world what he is capable of doing and so i think that uh, we do also need to make this make this sort of contribution to disabled people these are some types of the like menja and my reduction what time doing csr as you know is corporate uh, social responsibility and i am uh, involved in various disability organizations and doing csr work for them and uh, these again this is a picture of an i talk i had at one of the schools cbm in karachi and the way is work i've done in was csa no one important thing which i would come to which in my pain bagsan is totally not for disabled people and since i am a beach bound bus now i'm going to talk about my disability about being physically challenged and so i feel that in pakistan physically young people do not have any pakistan is not a wheelchair friendly place at all in my opinion the reason for that is if you uh, go to the various uh, shopping centers or cinemas or restaurants you all go there you don't find a single ram ram or lift any sort of thing that could uh, help a disabled wheelchair friendly person and i will uh, in cinemas like in cbu the ban we have they also got a lot of stays over there and so i although i am lucky that i do uh, have a number of helpers with me who uh, may should take me to the take me to cinema and watch the movie but uh, if for example you take yeah so uh, we need to make all these places including cinemas and restaurants if we look at all the restaurants in uh, zamzama for instance they all have all have got stairs in lee to go into so and one uh, way you can make a difference is that if you can when you go for lunch or dinner if you can tell the owner of that uh, restaurant or the, you can tell him to make a ram for ram in their restaurant i'm sure that will go a long way in helping the people of helping the disabled lives helping them and helping me also and i would like to take the say the difference between pakistan and the west i would uh, many talk of england because i have been to england and last when i was going there for after about 
a gap of about uh, seven to ten years, I would say. I was very uh, apprehensive over there as to how I would manage over there and how I would uh, so be able to cope with the facilities over there. But the moment I landed over there, I saw that uh, how friendly the, the, the public transport was. It never let me, I never ever for a single day was I bothered by this thing. Because the whole place was so wheelchair friendly that I was totally able to relax on my whole day and I was not about, have to think about this thing for one single day. So in Pakistan also we, like in, we hardly see any wheelchair friendly people on the streets or in public. The main reason being is that things over here are not wheelchair friendly at all. So that is the main uh, reason I would say. And but he also mentioned that uh, in my being Greg so also needs to have some uh, wheelchair friendly facilities over here. Like I have been to Faisal Bank and Faisal Bank is totally wheelchair friendly. I would say that it is one of the best offices in Pakistan, Karachi, which is totally wheelchair friendly. So we need to work on this and we need to make, make a pact or something. We need to make a Especially on today, being an international dis disability day, we need to help people with disabilities, and so we need to make more ramps and uh, to improve their lives. And lastly, I would uh, talk about the club which I have joined. It is known as the Toastmasters Club. And it has uh, helped me a lot in my public speaking. It has gone a long way in how to improve my speaking in public and also my communication skills because 